Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and if you fancy yourself a slice of delicious Android pie, then now, well, you can. Android 9.0, also known as Android Pie, is now available. It's finished, it's done, it's on the Pixel 2, which I've got right here. Now, you may have seen it recently, it's been out as a developer preview for a few months, but it is finally finished and being published over the air to phones like the Pixel. I think it's already on the Essential phone as well, but from now on, you're gonna start seeing it roll out to different smartphones. So is Android Pie really as delicious as it sounds? Is it a big upgrade? What's new? Well, let's take a look. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So I've just updated my Google Pixel 2 XL. So Android Pie does bring with it some design changes, although it's not a night and day difference coming from Android 8 Oreo. If you swap down from the top, you'll notice this does look quite different from before. We've got a white background, blue icons that are enabled, gray ones that aren't. All the icons are round and also color coded to make it a little bit easier to navigate. Other little design tweaks include if you press the volume button, you'll see the graphic pops out next to the button on the screen. And I also really like that it now defaults to the media volume when you press the volume keys. So you no longer accidentally blare out your Spotify music or your YouTube video when you thought you turned it right down. So everything is a little bit more colorful and round, but really the big change in terms of design and UI is with the gestures and also recently used apps. So if you jump into the settings menu, go to system, tap on gestures, and then enable swipe up on home button, this basically makes your Android phone feel more like an iPhone 10 with just one little pill shaped icon. Now everything can be controlled with gestures. So if you tap the pill, you go home. If you swipe up from the bottom, you bring up recently used apps, which is also now in a horizontal layout rather than the traditional Android vertical layout. So this looks a lot more like an iPhone. And while on the home screen, it's just the pill by itself, if you go into certain apps or you swipe up to recently used apps, you'll see a little back button on the left pop up to, well, take you back. I have to say, I do like the gestures on Android P, but I'm kind of spoiled by the OnePlus 6 because you also get gesture support on that. But the problem is on Android P on the Pixel here is that you're not actually getting any of the screen real estate back, but the pill and this whole thing at the bottom still takes up the same amount of space. Whereas on the OnePlus 6, you get that all back. And with gestures, you can still swipe up from the bottom, hold to get recently used apps, or swipe up from the left or right to go back. So to be honest, I think OnePlus have actually implemented gestures better on the OnePlus 6 than Google have with Android P. And while using this does feel a little bit more fluid, I guess, and more futuristic, more like the iPhone 10, you're not gaining any extra screen real estate back, which kind of was the whole point, especially when it came to the iPhone and the OnePlus 6. So we'll see what happens there. So the new horizontal recently used apps page is very intuitive. You just swipe up to close it. You can swipe down or tap on it to open it full screen. And if you want to split screen an app, just hold the little icon at the top and then you can tap split screen and then scroll through the other apps you want to split the screen. Makes sense really. So they're the main design changes, but what I have noticed using the Pixel 2 XL with Android P is it does feel a lot faster. It's slicker, it's smoother, and for that reason alone, it's probably worth upgrading. Google have also made some improvements to the battery. They've introduced a new adaptive battery mode and limits the CPU usage to apps that you don't use as often. So we should get slightly better battery life out of Android P devices. Google have also introduced something called the Digital Wellbeing app. It is still in beta, but it will be available to anyone with Android P very soon. So opening it up, you get an overview of your digital day so far, with a big pie chart showing you how much time you spent doing different things on your phone. And below that, you've got options to help you disconnect and also to reduce interruptions. It really is fascinating to see your digital life broken down like this. So you can see if you're spending way too much time on Facebook or Instagram, you can even set app time limits for how long you want to be able to use each app every day, which should be really useful to help you digitally detox. And I do think it's one of the most interesting new features of Android Pie. Google's also introduced new app actions and slices. I'm sure some Google employees have had a lot of fun calling it slices when we're talking about Android Pie but essentially slices automatically pulls the important data from apps. So maybe you could see the real time pricing from Uber or Lyft when you're searching for a ride without actually going into the app properly. So they're the main new features in Android P, but there's a few other cool tricks as well. For example, if you hold the power button, you can now take a screenshot that way before you'd have to press the power and the volume down. And you can also now edit that screenshot in a new 
screenshot editing tool. Just tap edit when you screenshot and then you can mark up, you can adjust it, save it, share it, all those cool things. So that's just been a quick tour of the new features in Android P, Android Pie. I do really like it. And while in terms of design alone, it's just a bit more colorful and rounded, not a huge night and day difference. In terms of just the better performance, the security enhancements, basically there's a lot of stuff going on under the hood, as well as a few little design improvements on top. And I do like the gesture support, the new gestures, although I maintain OnePlus implemented it better. And of course, most obviously, uh, we have this new recently used apps tray. So let me know what you think of Android Pie in the comments. Would you want to take a delicious slice of it or do you think it's gonna leave a bad taste in your mouth? Can't, can't believe I use those puns, but we're going with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, do click that like and subscribe button below. I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat.